Hi everyone, welcome to Designer Archive. So in this tutorial, we will be converting a modern day photo into black and white vintage type look in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to create a sequence and name it if you want to. After creating the sequence, drop your video into timeline. After that, you may want to create adjustment layer to apply effects in non-destructive way. To create an adjustment layer, go to Project Assets folder, click New Item and select Adjustment Layer. And now, we just need to apply few effects to achieve a classic vintage black and white look. Go to Effects panel and search black and white and black and white effect will appear in video effects folder. Just simply drag it onto the adjustment layer we created. It should turn your colorful video into black and white in a jiffy. Next, select the color tab from the menu and click on curves. Select the blue color icon and then drag the curves to the upper side to give a little bluish and softer shade to your videos just like the videos from 1960. Then select red color from above given colors and drag the red curves down to take out that reddish tint and giving further soft look to the video. This video is too crisp and high definition unlike the black and white videos from the past shot on low resolution cameras. So we will go on and take out some sharpness from the video to give it a bit faded and degraded look. For that, go to Effects panel, search for Unsharp Mask and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Then go to the Effects control, scroll down a bit and set the threshold to 1 and radius to 13% and amount to 67%. Go back to the Curves panel, this time select White and drag the lower corner of the white curves upward a little bit as shown in the video. The next effect we gonna apply is dust and scratches. Search dust and scratches in effects panel and apply it onto the adjustment layer and set its radius to 3%. Now one last step before we say it's done. Go to effect panel again, search noise, HLS, drag it onto the adjustment layer, go to the effect control panel and scroll down till you find the noise HLS effect and its properties. From here in front of noise, select grain and increase the who value to 56%. And there you have it. And if you are still watching, a sub to the channel would be really really appreciated. Bye and take care.